Okay, guys, we're back. We're back. All right, so I just want to show you guys where we at, like the small challenge, the small account challenge. Man, all right, so we're up $300 on today, 38% increase today, and 87% increase on the week. On the week, all right, I got cash in there, a little bit to work with. Now, I'm going to just let you know what happened. This Barnes & Noble was all the way up. It was actually all the way down. I even bought this at $0.05, cents, so it was at a penny. And I decided that this was going to happen. So I bought it at five. I bought it for five bucks. So you can see like I paid five bucks for these or it says seven dollars now because I bought one just to, I just bought another one. But but it says I paid like basically five bucks for them. So when I bought it for five bucks, then the value shot up to 50, 50 cent per one because the price doubled today. You can see the price here was here yesterday. Like it was just here and now it's there. So it's like it's been doing this all week. So I bought these options when they were cheap, man, and now they doubled up. Now, you could say that's that's just like luck or whatever, like, but I made a video on Barnes & Noble and why I should grab that. And everyone's like, oh, you know, you're going to go out of business, blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. So I bought the options. That's what happened. Now, I didn't buy any shares because it would take too much money to buy enough shares and I would have been risking way too much money. So instead, uh, okay, we're still getting money today. So instead, I bought the options, all right? So the same thing with GameStop. GameStop was down. I bought a bunch of options. Now we're up. You can see where we're at right now. We're up pretty good, all right? Actually, I want to, you know, I want to I wanna go take, I'm going to take one more. I'm going to skim one more off the top of this. Um, I'm going to skim this off the top because, you know, I got, Right now, I got a lot of these hanging in the balance. Let's see. GameStop, actually, let me see where GameStop's at. GameStop's not going to stay. You know, I don't think it's going to stay there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all of these because I got a whole bunch of these in another, um, another one of my accounts. So I'll sell, I'll sell all of these except these two. I'll sell, I'll sell everything but one there. All right, so I locked in my profits there, guys. I've only got one left. So this shows you I spent 20 bucks. I spent $27 on one contract, and then I made 72%, all right? Now, like I said, in my Charles Schwab account, I got more of these, so it doesn't matter. I got, like, 20 of these or something like that, so I'm all right. These are supposed to last to January, but this was supposed to be a short-term trade. So I don't want my value of my money to go down because this might turn into a sell-off. I mean, it obviously, it was a breakout, but it made eighteen percent one day. You can't expect too much from it. So if it goes back down, I'll just re—I'll jump back into my trade again. So I just took that because it's up. Whenever it's up, I'm just gonna take. And this, I'm waiting on this to go back up. It was nice when this was here. Anyway, in this video, I want to show you guys exactly how I'm doing this and like what's actually happening. So we're going to go check out this, this stock called Rig, okay? Now, just right after I made that video that I posted yesterday about oil and how we should probably, now I'm going to start buying it. Then all the oil stocks started trending, like right away, all right, guys? So this just like shot right up, and it was ridiculous. It was just like this yesterday, right after I made the video the next day. You could go look at the timestamp. Go look at my five top oil stocks to buy, whatever, video. I dropped it after this, like... And then boom, it shot, it shot up. So I'm like, man, it did. But these just went up, but it went up on all of them. P10 went up as well. This one actually came back down and I was looking for options in here, but I'm explaining to you why I didn't get any. You see the price of these, these are going to expire soon. That's why they're only like one cent. These are like horrible. You never make your money back. These right here, these are all right, but May is too soon. So what I do is I open it up and I, I, I put a little drop down right there, arrow. And it says volume five, open interest 62. So I know if I wanted to buy one of these, I could. And it would go through right now. But then this is going to expire in May. And I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want one that expires in May. It's going to suck. So we'll go to August. And you see August is down 50 to $53. 53 cent. This is open volume only two and 14 interest. There's not a lot of people here trying to buy these options, you know. So you go in here and eh, 63, but there's no volume there. Here's in the money. This one's got 20 interest, 16 volume. But like, we're so early, no one's buying this stuff. No one's buying it. Unless, of course, people got, no, no one's got that. 
So what I do is I go check all of the different ones to see does anybody have anything? And I didn't notice that anyone had anything. Even in the money ones, didn't have any volume or didn't have any interest. So I'm not going to buy any of these options because I can't sell them to anybody. There doesn't seem to be anybody here who wants to buy any of these options. So there's one way to look at this, right? We could say, you know, it doesn't matter if somebody else wants them or not. I could actually just buy one of these options and then just use it to, like, say, for instance, if the oil price, if I believe this oil price is going to do this, let me show you. If I think it's going to come way over here to 10 bucks, then it would make sense for me to just go on and tie up. It would make sense to tie up at three dollars right here. This amount, I could tie up 100 for 120. Um, and you can see the price now is 250, which means I'm spending 120 now versus spending 250. But of course, the problem is that, you know, I guess you spend 120. If the price goes up to 10, you got a hundred shares. So it means you got a thousand bucks for the price of 120 bucks, but you still need to spend the, uh, the difference. In this case, the difference would have been, the difference would be, the difference would be, uh, yeah, three hundred dollars. I still have to spend the one twenty already spent, but then I got to spend three dollars for every hundred for a hundred shares. So at the end of that, I spent four hundred and twenty dollars, but then I got a thousand bucks to you know automatically buy a thousand. So you'd only use this strategy if you just believe that this stock's gonna really go up, and that you just know for sure that it's gonna do that. Now this one right here. I don't even think this one was way up like that. It just shot up. This one just went up this morning. Like, I swear. I just, I, I'm telling you, it just shot up. Look at this. This is ridiculous. And it sucks because I was in the wrong one. But either way it goes. Um, all right, so we got rig up here. Here's rig. And, you know, I might have bought a couple shares, but this really doesn't matter. What matters, I only buy shares so I can see, so I can pilot my, my trade. I bought three contracts, and it's like, man, how could I make, you know, it's hard to know. Out of, out of these five, I made a video about which one of the five was going to pop, and it happened to be this one, Independence Contract Drilling. They got some type of big deal or something because they just shot up, man. Man, I was in the wrong one, you know. It's okay because it's all right. Now, if I had got options in this one, Oh, there is no options. Would you look at that? So this wouldn't work anyway. There was no options that could be bought. All right, no, don't worry about that. So I ended up buying RIG, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here before this thing shoots back up to here, which is like a lot of percent. So let's see what we can do. Go to options right here. Now, you see in here, there's a lot of options, a lot of different, but we don't want nothing that's going to expire soon. I think it'll take the oil industry, let's say, a year to recover. So it's April now. We're not going to go all the way to April of next year. We're just going to go to January. Give it some time. <clears throat> because if the price of the, the if this if this stock price goes if this stock price goes up to where it used to be, uh, that's not even a year. Let's just go back one year from now. So we go back to April of last year. If we can just get back here, guys, right? $9.14. That's our goal, okay? So let's go here. We're gonna do the math right quick. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, well, what if I bought this? And let's go check the, the, the volume. Now you see the difference? The 722 people bought that and there's volume for 21. So people are actually actively buying it. Right now, people are actively buying that. All right, so like I would get a in the money. I can get an in the money one right here. Like this one's this one's in the money. Um or I could buy one that's out of the money so I can get more than one, which means I can tie up more shares. Just see what just happened. The thing just went up. So then go November. So I don't need to wait all the way to January because it might not take so long. Plus, I don't want to pay that much of a premium. Kind of the cheaper, the earlier you let it expire, the cheaper you can get it for. And it just means that you can get more of it. Now you can still see the same amount of volume. So people are just buying these, tying them up, getting decent prices for them. Now, I bought these instead because these have even more volume, more interest. Just because I can get more for the price. All right, guys. So I'm able to get more. I can tie up more. If the price of this shoots up to, say, $10 before August, then I can 
call upon all of my shares and then go ahead and grab it at, at the three dollar mark so i can take full advantage of that but i don't want to you know pay less so i'm going to do this so if we go back up to the three the three dollar mark doesn't exist on these ones and they still cost 52 cents for those may is a little cheaper i'm pretty sure this one wouldn't be bad probably nope it's bad no one cares it's not enough time may is not too far it's too it's too close so august is probably the best so i'm gonna buy some more august all right guys so i'm gonna do um and that's basically how i figure out which ones to get I'm just gonna leave it at 25 cent and we're gonna leave that there i'm gonna see if we can grab some more august and I'm using the money from the GameStop, so I'm I'm still gonna. Oh, it went up. All right, so you can see that the price is. I had did it at thirty cents, so we're gonna do two more. At this price. <coughs> All right, we got those, so we close on those ones. And you're probably wondering, like, okay, but you know, why are you buying so many? What is the deal? All right, so the reason I'm buying these, and I still got these, first of all, is this is going to shoot up at some point, and we're going to make a ton of money. Um, if you can see from an option chart, you can actually see that this price is probably way higher than this at some point. But at any rate, where we are now, we're just trying to do what we can. So here's what I want to do. I want to just go make sure there's no more. And it works here. Yep, I got these right here. So let's replace these. And the reason we want to do this is because we want to um, we want to get as many of these as we can. All right, there. All right, so that's that. I got seven, sh seven contracts, which is equivalent of having seven hundred <coughs> options, like seven hundred shares. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell. All right, so this is the point. $1.51. All right, so if we take that and we go here and do a $1.51 times 700, it would have cost me $1,057 to buy 700 shares. I got 700 shares right now, but I didn't spend 1000 bucks. And you just saw how much I spent. I didn't spend much at all. All together, I spent $189. So this is like saying I spent 10% or something like that. Now, here's where it gets beautiful at. <clears throat> Over the course of the next couple of days, if the price comes down, I'm going to lose money here, right? So my 189 is going to start taking the nosedive. And because of that, I'm going to start buying more. So instead of paying $30 an option, I'm going to start paying $20 an option. Every time I get 20 or 30 bucks, I'm going to buy more. So I would buy these until I got like 30, 40, 50 of these contracts because then it's not going to hurt me. And I'm talking about if it takes weeks, if it takes a couple of weeks for this to go up again, if it just takes a while. Right. So if this price of rig just continues to, to come back down because, look, it was just a high. It was a really good high. And then it comes back down. If it comes back down, you know, then I'm going to accumulate more. But you can see the trend is going up and it's going to trend up higher, guys. But it needs more time. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to be buying a lot of these options and I'm going to accumulate so many that when the price, let's say, for instance, if the price of the rig, this one, if it just does what the other one did, did like the other the other oil stock just shot up to five bucks. So this isn't too far fetched because you can see here that this one just did that just now. All right, so this just shot up just to just just morning. It's already up 100%. So I'm saying if it goes up 100% for RIG, if this one goes up 100%, okay, because they're probably getting big contracts now. But if they do get to 100%, guess what's going to happen to my options? They're going to go 300 to 400% based on the premium. And I'm not I'm not I'm not going to exercise them. Um I might, you know, I could exercise them, but these don't expire to 821. So I'll just sell them, sell so many and hold on to the rest. And that way I can lock in profits, but I'm buying so many so that I can lock in profits and also still stay in the trade. So that's like what we're doing here. We're going to stay in this trade. Um, and we're going to just, you know, take that money and 
secure more. Now, if GameStop, obviously, if this drops back down, I'm going to buy more of this, too, because we already know this is going to go back up. It's just a matter of time. So I'm just doing these type of trades, guys, and I hope you guys saw what I was doing, like how I was able to do it. Uh, I got some money in there to work with. Like I said, we're up 90% on the week. This is a crazy. I basically doubled my account in a week. And this is a small account challenge, guys. So, you know, I'm using the same stock strategy, but I'm just using options married to my stock strategy. And the options now become a powerful weapon against a small account. And me having small amounts of money to trade with. So I'm able to grow my account rapidly fast. So if you guys want to learn how I'm doing that, stick around to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button. And I'm going to do this in my Webull account as well. So make sure you guys uh, watch any of my Webulls. If you want some free stocks, you can sign up there. And if you want to join up with Robinhood, you can also sign up for that in the uh, in the description. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.